Did you ever stop and think Why spend too much time just getting ready? Let me be honest I don't know a single thing That I haven't done to make you notice me Let me be real here When I see you my heart starts racing But I don't know if I like this chasing And playing and waiting around It's a shame that my hands start shaking All of the time when you're around me But this time, this time <laughs> hey loves, it's Brianna Kay. You might also know me as Bits of Brie. Today's video is a clean and decorate for my son Landon's fifth birthday. I do not know how he's five. And it's so funny because somebody just sent me his first birthday. I did like a birthday party decor haul and then I showed like the party and all of the decorations in another video. And it's just wild to think that that much of like his life has been on YouTube for five years and I've been doing this for five years. It's so crazy, but I'm so thankful that you're here and I'm so excited today to decorate. This is definitely somewhat bittersweet because of course, normally when we have the parties, it's like his grandparents and his aunts and uncles are invited. And this is the first year actually that we were going to invite school friends to the party because he's gone to all of his other school friends in his class birthday so far this year. He's I think the youngest in his class, they said, or it might be one little girl after him. I think he's the youngest boy in his class though. But obviously we can't do that. <laughs> It just makes me so sad for him, but he's still so excited to do this party at home and he is just so optimistic. That's what I love about Landon. One of the many things I love about Landon because he's an awesome little guy, but he even said, well, I still get to celebrate with my mommy and daddy and Presley and Coley. Like it's good. And so we're going to celebrate him basically all weekend because it's Saturday today when I'm decorating and his actual birthday is Monday. But Monday's just, just a hard work day for me because I post a video and have my YouTube course. But anywho, that's why I wanted to decorate today so that then Sunday we're gonna like really celebrate his birthday tomorrow and family's gonna drive by and do a little birthday surprise parade for him. We haven't told him that they're doing that yet. So it should be really, really fun for him this weekend. But let's go ahead and get started cleaning and decorating so that the house is nice in order, give you some cleaning motivation, and then you can get some fun decor ideas for he's doing a Star Wars birthday party this year. That's what he wanted was Star Wars. So I'm excited to deck the house, or deck, really deck the dining rooms is where I decorate for parties. <laughs> This year's birthday planning was so different because of staying at home on lockdown and not being able to go to stores or anything. So I ordered all of these decorations online and I actually could only order a few things from Amazon because I started looking about a month out and a lot of the non-essential stuff wouldn't have gotten here on time. So 
The majority of the decorations in this video are actually from Target. So if you are looking for Star Wars party gear, I'll link what I got in the description box. But just in general, I also wanted to share some of my party planning tips since this is one of my absolute favorite things to do. I love decorating for parties, making food for parties. It just never feels like work to me. It's always so fun. So I feel so lucky that I get to share all of my cleaning and decorating with you on my channel. Just thank you so much for your support here. And I hope that if you're new, you subscribe. To blow up some balloons some more balloons but I got a helium tank I think from Walmart was delivering them so I can do some of the helium ones and I think the arch will just blow all of those up but some of the tips I have for you when it comes to decorating I really like picking just one room or one space to make a big impact rather than spreading out the decor so that's why I usually keep party decorations in this dining room in our house and I always use the buffet table as the centerpiece for the decorations because it's a really easy focal point. So I usually find a tablecloth or table runner to add a big pop of color and then I just love getting letter balloons because they are inexpensive, you can blow them up at home and they make a really big fun impact and everybody always loves them and talks about them. So I did order a helium tank for this party because I couldn't go to Dollar Tree or a local party store at the moment. So just something to think about. So if you're throwing a party during quarantine, that might be something you wanna order as well. And I do just like adding a garland. I feel like if you have a table or a buffet table, a garland strung across it just kind of goes with the theme and makes it really fun. This is how crazy the weather has been here for April. Kids and Adam built a snowman yesterday. The kids are napping now. I started trying to blow up the balloon arch, but it made me feel so lightheaded and dizzy and like I already feel just like nausea and exhausted <laughs> from being pregnant that Adam's gonna take over blowing them up. I'll show you though. This is how far I got. So <laughs> I, I tried really, really hard, A for effort, but this is what the if the camera will focus this is what the balloon arch is supposed to look like so he's got quite a bit of balloons he's going to help me with and i'm going to put them then like around that side of the happy birthday but it's coming together adam's blowing everything up with his air pump he's way smarter than me i was trying to blow them up myself hey i thought you were napping <laughs> But I was gonna say, I don't think I said it. Pregnancy brain. While Adam does the balloons, I'm gonna start making the cake. For Landon's cake, I'm making a Funfetti cake. I saw this really cute Star Wars cake inspo on Pinterest. If we're not already Pinterest friends, I'll link my Pinterest in the description box. It's totally one of my love languages, so we can connect on there too. But I got black fondant and a star cookie cutter to make the black stars. And I found some really cute star candles online at Target for on top of the cake too. I also had a total fail while decorating. My printer stopped working. So some of the cute signs I'd planned on printing, like may the forks be with you and the Han Solo burger sign. I wanted to print all of those, but <laughs> it couldn't happen. So again, if you check my Pinterest, you can see lots of other really cute Star Wars ideas that I pinned on there too. And Adam used my heart air pump, which worked so well blowing up all these balloons. You can get it at Walmart. 
worked really good for the balloon arch. So I would highly recommend if you're doing any sort of balloon arches or just have a lot of balloons to blow up, it makes it a lot easier than having to do it yourself with your mouth. But I thought this was a really great arch. It made a great impact on the wall. So I would totally recommend this one from Target. By this time, the cake was ready to come out of the oven, so while it was cooling, I set the tables for the party. And of course, I would normally be setting it this way because other family would be coming, but I just set it up for you guys to see for this video, and I'm gonna be saving all of the plates and napkins and stuff for hopefully this summer, fingers crossed, when we can have a belated cookout for Landon's birthday with all of our family. But if you are trying to pick out plates and utensils, I always like laying everything that I'm getting for a party in a Google Doc. I will copy and paste the pictures of everything that I order just to make sure that it all coordinates. And I'll try to pick opposing colors. So since the tablecloths were black for this party, I picked gray and silver plates and silver utensils so they had that contrast and popped against the tablecloth. And then I set the black napkin on top of the plates then to coordinate with the entire theme. Told me to lighten up, but it's not easy breaking habits. I've got a ton of bad days lined up, and I ain't gonna chase no rabbit. So sweet. A and C Designs on Etsy. I'm gonna link their shop. Made this for Landon, and it is perfect. Thank you so much. You've got plenty of time tonight. Oh, everything's gonna be gonna be. put the final touches on the balloon arch once Adam had gotten all of the smaller balloons blown up. And besides the cake and presents, this room is pretty much decorated, so I wanted to show you guys how it turned out. Let me know how you like it down in the comments. And Presley is such a fun age. She's about to turn three next month, so her party clean and decorate with me will be coming soon. But she loves helping me bake, and she helped me decorate Landon's cake. Right there, push it down. Cause where you go is where I go. Okay, push it down. Very good. Yay! And now we're going to do right here. And you got me too. Who cut all those stars? You can ride
you. You did such a good job. They look amazing, Peanut. You're a good little baker. I'm gonna pull the outside off. And we have a bunch of pretty fondant stars for Landon's birthday cake. Presley also asked if she could help me wrap Landon's presents, so it's just fun seeing her grow up and be such a sweet and helpful little girl. It could not bring me more joy as a mama. I just love her. I love her brother so much too, and I just know every mama feels that way about her babies, and that's just why I'm so glad we have this community where we can come together, celebrate, have joy and love and family. I'm just so glad that you're here. And I feel so lucky to invite you into our home and share these special occasions with you. So thank you so much for being here. You truly don't realize that you make me a better mom because of the advice you give me in the comments, the love you give me in the comments, and all the encouragement and support. I am just so grateful for all of you in this community. I love you. So the next day, our family and my best friend did a surprise birthday parade for Landon. He was so happy. It was the sweetest thing ever. And then we still did all of the party Why stuff. Why the Yada, gifts, cake. All right. So here you yep. go. Carol Bassett from Landon's birthday celebration. Woo! No, 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 no. You get one way at a time. Now Prezi's turn. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> Landon, you have to back up. Landon, <laughs> back up. Two hands, Peanut. Nice. Wow. Cracker Jack. Three. Okay. <laughs> Should mommy take a whack? Can mommy have a turn? Yes, mommy gets a turn. Go. Okay, you two stay. Wait, 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 wait. Stay back away. Jeez. <laughs> Oh, two came out. <laughs> two came out. I honestly didn't think for how long they've been wacky. <laughs> well, yeah, you can't like swing down. I told you that the <laughs> string might not hold. <laughs> okay. Well, there's more in. Let's keep whacking. I have to tie back up. 
and I made Han Solo burgers per Landon's request. It's one of the things we saw on Pinterest, but you've got to try this recipe if you like Big Macs. So first you press one pound of burger meat into a 13 by nine baking dish. FYI, this will shrink down a lot when cooked and you wanna season your meat with steak seasoning and a pinch of sugar. Bake this at 425 for 15 to 20 minutes until the juices run clear. Then you wanna drain the juices and cover the beef with sliced American cheese. Bake for two to three minutes until the cheese is nice and melted and removed from the oven. Then on a separate baking tray, slice a 12 pack of Hawaiian rolls in half and brush the tops of the buns with oil and sprinkle the top of the buns with sesame seeds. And you want to brown these on broil for two minutes. Once you take them out, add Thousand Island dressing and shredded lettuce. You can also add diced onion and pickles, but I don't add those last two because Adam doesn't like them. And then put the meat onto the buns. Drizzle a little bit more Thousand Island and sprinkle some more lettuce on top of the cheese and then top them with the sesame seed buns. Hope you enjoy these, they were so good. I ate four of the sliders, <laughs> but they're so good. I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone I I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations, so oh. Cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting But then you came along and proved me all wrong, I was so mistaken Cause you glue all the pieces back together Daddy kicked that one yeah, out for you you take all my arms and make them better Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever I feel so free Thank you so much for watching this clean and decorate with me for Landon's birthday. I cannot believe he's five. I'm going to cry. <laughs> but it just means so much to share our celebrations with you. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, love. Kept on playing my part. Wanted to give it because nothing was changing. But with you it's so clear. And now that you're here I see colors in every spectrum. Guess I finally learned my lesson. All the pieces back together Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah, you, you're making me want to try forever I feel so free Oh, my sweet baby